I really didn't have a fishbowl question, but I'm about to pull one out. Hey, yo. It's thin air. Mm -hmm. I didn't even get to finish the question. <laughs> Shout out to Flam Beginning again for the hat. As Part a, two. <laughs> the second this, this is a good fishbowl question. I mean, it's nothing crazy, but as an entrepreneur, what jobs do you feel like you have to turn down, if any? Or have you turned down any jobs, and why? So the first question was, as an entrepreneur, have I had to turn down any jobs? Yeah, and why? Uh, yes, I've, I've turned down probably only like two or three. And probably because I was early in my in my career, um, and I didn't know how to how to handle multiple things at the time. Now I don't turn down any money. I was that's where I was going with it, like because you can still make money. You just 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 know got to know how to delegate tasks. Mm. That's what I'm, I'm gonna say about that. It's a good answer. And it and it it took but it took me a long time to actually process get, it like that. Get that get to that. I'm like. Oh, I can just do this and then do this and not have to do this. But it took it took for my it took for me to expand my reality, right? And I I fortunately not fortunately wasn't grown up. I, I wasn't forced to grow up in this little right. square box, right? So my mind was wandering and got to wander everywhere. So I've understood the possibility that anything is possible as long as you put the work into it. And I noticed that some people that I'm around or some people that I grew up with, unfortunately, was put into that box growing up. So it's all about just expanding outside that box. So is that where your creativity comes from? Like not living inside the box? And at what point in your life did you realize that, hey, I'm not in this box? Early, I think when I was, when my mom was like, working at this daycare center and I was like, le I, around 10-ish, maybe even before 10-ish, maybe like when I was around like seven, I knew, I separated myself early because I, I, was, I was the kid that was sitting on the other side of the room just staring and watching all the other kids and drawing. Like, I've, al I've always been like that. So I, I think it's, it, that's... You was born. I was just born. I, some I did something amazing in my past life. <laughs> and you say, hey, when I come back, I need to do this again. I need, I need to, I need to get right, and and that that's all I can really say about that. Damn. But that goes, but that goes back to you saying um, uh, how how is entrepreneurship been like? You gotta love, you gotta love what you're doing first. If you don't love it, don't don't pursue it at all. Don't pursue Find yourself looking stupid and crying somewhere. Or even then, it's just you in it for a long time and you just in it because you kind of like halfway. It's like something to do. Uh, well, I'm here now. I'm, I'm here now, like type of shit. Don't do it because of that. Don't be like, I'm here now. Like, if you ain't fully 100% committed to it, something that you know you can plug into your day because you know it's necessary to get done. Mm. Um, I've learned that my level of. Um, I want to say expectancy. My level, my sense of urgency is like on 100 every day versus everybody else's. So I've learned to, to delegate when I need to delegate and pull back and, and, and again, shutting the fuck up and listen when I need to listen, right? I've, it, it, took me, it, took me, it took me a very, very, very long time to do that. So you, you got to understand that too. And that's the importance of having a team, like, cause you know which person gonna handle which parts and, and what works. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's not, it's, it's, it's a lot of work. You just, you just got to do it. Sure. Ain't nothing to it but to do Ain't it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing to it, but that, that's a love language of mine too. Speaking of, uh, sense of urgency, having that partner that understands your sense of urgency. Mm -hmm. That's very important. Cause I, too. Oh, man. Man, what's, what's more important, having communication or understanding? They go hand in hand. You need both. I feel like without any communication, there's nothing to understand. And if you're not understanding anything that I'm communicating to you, then what's the purpose of me even communicating anything to you? Mm, that's like that yin-yang. Yeah, it goes hand in hand. Mm, so like there's that. no communication without any understanding. 
in my book. So I know at times you have to communicate things that may be uncomfortable and you have to be understanding that it might be uncomfortable for the person you're talking to and vice versa. So just have open communication, be as honest as you can and be very understanding. You gotta put yourself in everybody else's shoes sometimes, whoever you're talking to. Imagine how they will feel if they're receiving the news that you're dishing out. So I'm learning that, I guess you could say, I ain't gonna say love language. Uh, well, that's a no, learning. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, a learn. it's a love language, so. Miss understanding uh, understanding and communication. communication. So I'm learning that daily. And I strive my best to put myself in somebody else's shoes when I'm talking to them. Because I know I say a lot of disrespectful stuff sometimes <laughs> in a regular conversation. And I know it can come off like, oh, he crazy. Did he really just say that? And then I step back and I might call back, yo, man, I'm sorry, I ain't mean it like that. And he just chuckle and laugh it off, like, oh, whatever. But I know if that was me, I'd be pissed. I'd be like, what did he just say to me? So I know I talk to a lot of other people like that too on a regular basis without even trying, so. That's, un that's important that, that you understand. That you I understand, understand that though, see? And I'm communicating yeah. to you, so yeah. if you're on the receiving end of that pause, I apologize. Yeah, <laughs> receiving. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> My apologies. <laughs>